are there there are connections between the two, aren't there? Well, some of our board members sit on the same board. Okay. But uh, Crime Stoppers is there for witness information mm -hmm. anonymously, and Backstoppers is there to support fallen officers and first responders. Gotcha. Uh, families. So even though they're very different, they're s they're sort of to help the police in one both way. Both five hundred one c threes both there to support the police. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Good. And you come on. You've been coming on now for a couple of months. Correct. Um, giving us some sort of uh, you know sort of uh, highlighting some crimes that you guys are having trouble solving. Correct. Police work is not an, an individual sport. I mean, we literally need the public's help. To solve crimes, there's no way we can do it without them. Okay, mm -hmm. good. So let's get to some of these crimes and let's see if someone knows something about this. Okay, the first one I have is actually, it's like a crime spree. Uh, on Friday, uh, September 30th, suspects broke into the beauty supply store in Belleville, Illinois and took um, items and cash. They also attempted to break into the T-Mobile store in Belleville. Uh, they also broke into the Alpine store in O'Fallon, Illinois and stole numerous items there. They... Um, were also seen, um, believed to be the group behind a break-in in Victoria's Secret in Lake St. Louis and also at the DSW store in St. Peter's. Hmm. There are one, two, three, four suspects that we have pictures of on the web. You can see those pictures. They have different color hoodies. They all do wear hoodies. Um, however, there might be other ones outside waiting at the same time this is happening. There's also a picture of the vehicle that they have could have been in, which is a 15 to 17 silver colored Hyundai Sonata. Um, it could have burnt out uh, driver's side headlights, uh, passenger taillight problems, approximately a 2011 burnt orange Dodge Charge, uh, Challenger with dark tinted windows was also in the area. So there's a lot of information on this crime. They've hit all over. It's not just in East St. Louis. It's not just in Belleville. Um, Lake St. Louis and um, St. Peter's has also been hit. So if anybody could take a look at those videos and let us know if they can tell us who they are, where they are, or if they have any other information on these suspects. They to also to uh, took over tens of thousands of dollars. Oh, in... accumulatively, yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you, I should also say that these pictures are pretty clear. It isn't like the old grainy videos you used to get from a long time ago. No, thank mm -hmm. goodness that the camera uh, resolutions are getting better right. and that, that companies are buying the right cameras. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're going to get a camera for security purposes, my get suggestion is do your, do your due diligence and find a good one. Even talk to the police departments sure. that mm -hmm. you work with. Okay, if anyone knows anything connected to this crime, call Crime Stoppers 1 371 8477. If um, how, how does this work? If they give a tip, what happens? If the tip uh, renders an arrest, so if the suspect's name is the right name, we can whittle it down, the police officers uh, make an arrest on this, mm -hmm. then that tip will go to the board, the board votes on how much to give you, and then once you call us back to check on the tip, we'll let you know whether or not it helped. Okay, good. All right, what else you got? What's number two? Um, number two, on Sunday, September 4th, 2016, at 9.30 p.m., at the intersection of 47th Street and Hallows Avenue in, I believe it's Washington Park, but it could be East St. Louis, police located a Chevy Impala that had run off the road and crashed. Both the victims inside the car had been shot. One of the victims is Anthony Pennell Jr., a 24-year-old black male who resides in East St. Louis. And then the second was Amber Beezer, I believe is her name. And her two-year-old son was also in the car. She was transported to the hospital and died later of her injuries. The two-year-old son was not hurt, but they took him to the hospital. Um, she died on September 5th of the, her injuries. She was also pregnant at the time. Yeah. Correct. So this she is, a, was also this is a terrible story. Mm. The Happened September 4th of, of this year. Yeah, that vehicle was a gold 2007 Chevy Impala with a Missouri temporary tag. So if anybody knows anything about this, please give us a call. Because these, there's two families here that really need some help. So driving down the street, they were shot uh, and killed. Uh, she was shot and killed. He was shot and killed. And she was pregnant. Um, again, the vehicle was what? Oh, it was a gold 2007 Chevy Impala and a Missouri temporary plates. Uh, if someone calls about this. This is up to a $5,000 reward. Because it's a, a homicide. A homicide. Okay, Two good. homicides. All right, what's, what's number three? There's also a double homicide in Jennings. We don't have a lot of information on this at all. Wednesday the 20th in the evening, 
uh, Tracy Nyler, who is a black male, 46, and Tanya Frizzelli, I'm sorry, I hope that's the right pronunciation of that name, a white female of 40, were found deceased in a home in the 7300 block of Genwood Avenue in Jennings. The police believe that they may have been killed one or two days prior to them being discovered. That's all the information they have. They certainly do need the, the public's help in this. Did you see anything around this area, around the 7300 block of Genwood, that would cause you to pause, give us a call, and let us know? You saw anything in the alley, in the street? Mm. Anything would give us a call and let us know. And because it is a homicide, you could get up to $5,000. Correct. Yeah. Uh, all right. And, and what, what's this last one here? This last one is um, a, an 83-year-old woman was parked um, at her groceries in her parked car when the subjects approached. Um, they actually came out of the store and then grabbed her purse from... She was sitting in her car and grabbed her purse from her and took off in this van that actually shows in the picture here so this is all the information that we have it is a white minivan and it was um it fled on natural bridge from the parking lot um i'm sorry that i don't have the parking lots address here but we will get that for the website all right uh there you go uh one more time the phone number for people to find out more information is 866-371-8477 and it isn't just based on these crimes if if you see a crime uh, you are more than welcome to call Crime Stoppers and help with a tip. Absolutely. If it's life-threatening, you want to call 911. But if you have information on any crime, past, mm -hmm. present, or future, give us a call. And it's, again, you have photos, mm -hmm. surveillance photos, videos on stlrcs.org. On, on our website and on your website as well. We okay. should also say that, you know, very much like the news, people call up and give news tips all the time. That's, you know, you can't, you can't be everywhere. And so the police rely on these tips. There's nothing. This is a very normal thing for someone to call the police and say, hey, this is what happened. I heard this. Check it out. Do what you want. But this is the information I heard. Absolutely. In the last 10 years, I've gotten 13,000 tips. That's just the ones that we took. That's not the ones that we said, you know, call this department or this place or this. Right. 13,000 tips. And in that, we've given out $114,000 worth of reward money. And the arrests have been made, 575 arrests have been made by police officers on the Crime Stoppers tips in the last 10 years. Has anybody called on you, the, our segments here? I want to be like... Uh, no, thank you're, goodness. You're, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought maybe on you personally. No, not on me. <laughs> <laughs> you're pointing yeah, to yourself. Was um, that McGraw Millhaven? I saw him last night. He was wearing stripes and solids. It didn't go. That was a. He should be arrested. That is a fashion. Uh, that's a fashion crime. Um, I'll get you some statistics on those the next time I come yeah, in. Yeah, because I because we want. I mean, we want people to call. We want people to feel that the police are working for them. And um, I was just curious. I want like this. To, I, I want this segment to work. Yeah. Well, and absolutely the uh, information that we gave out on the MetroLink information. We got. 20, 30 tips on that. It just came in like crazy. Good. Okay. So, yeah. So, we, so, they, so they, they did get a chance to identify calling. some of those. one 371 tips one 371 tips Lisa Pichotta with uh, Crime Stoppers. You're always welcome here. Thank you very much. Thank Have you. a good day. You got Thank it. You. And uh, thoughts and prayers to you and the family and everybody else with Thanks the police again. department after um, a tragic, tragic uh, loss. Surprisingly, Kelly Jackson, a number of people brought this up in the spin room afterwards.